Yo, yo, it's going crazy today. Yeezy's is getting poor from the confirm that Go is dropping all the exclusive Air Max for retail. The Nike Spring Sale is busting. So you know what I came here to do today. Let's talk about it. Let's go. What's good? What's cracking? What's happening? It's your boy Moves the Alpha, and today we have a lot in store. Yo, we here to talk about Adidas pulling all the Yeezy from the confirmed app. So yes, they're no longer sitting there anymore. They haven't been selling out, and yo, everybody's looking like yo, what's about to go on with Adidas and these Yeezys? The Yeezy stock was going on there. Yo, Go went crazy today, releasing all the exclusive Air Maxes that you can think of. Yo, I'm talking about from the Travis Scotts to the Oregon Ducks PEs, man. I even saw the Air Max 90 or the Lunar Joints with the moon all, all around the side of them. Yo, everything's being restocked, so we're going to talk about that for a little minute. And then I'm going to show you all some of the things that I pick up during the Nike Spring Sale and some other accessories that I got to add to the closet. So we're about to get into a lot today, so let's not even waste no time. Let's get into it, Mr. Moosey. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you're talking about. Let's go. Oh, all right, all right. Before we kick off today, I got to start by telling y'all happy Air Max Day. And y'all see them in my feature shoe today is the Air Max One Serena Williams Design Crew. If you saw my short yesterday, I did um, do a short on the Monarchs because I hadn't really been posting for, you know, um, Air Max Month or Max Madness, as we like to call it. So I'm featuring those. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and read back to yesterday. Watch my short, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me how you're feeling about those. But yes, to actually start off today, we're here to talk about how Adidas has pulled all the Yeezy stocks from the confirmed app. So I woke up this morning, saw Kickfinder had put a post up like, yo, all the Yeezys no longer on the confirmed app. So what do y'all think is gonna happen? What I actually hope happens is that they finally put them on sale and stop trying to treat the market on Yeezys like it's five, six years ago. Like, come on, Adidas, just be smart. Use your noggin, turn it on, turn it on. Yes, like one of those type of moments. So yes, all the Yeezys are officially gone. And I really do just think it's like, yo, people don't want these colorways. Y'all charging 230, bro, for what should be like a grade school size. Y'all charging 210 for sneakers that nobody asked for. And y'all wondering why they sitting. Put them joints on sale for about 140, 150. Really go about 120, man. Just cut your losses and get the little money you can back off of the stock, which I'm pretty sure they'll come out positive on it. Like I'm like 90% sure that they'll come out positive, even if you put them on sale, just to sell them out to the market, man. It's not 2015, 2016 no more, but Yeezys are not doing what they're used to, man. The market is tanking. You can find Yeezys almost everywhere. You can find even some under retail if you look on like GOAT, StockX and places like that. So I don't know what got, what's going on over there at Adidas. I don't know if they have one on to confirm that. What I hope happens is, yo, just put them on a regular Adidas app, put them into these retail stores, bro. Let them go on sale, get your money, call it quits and go find a new cash grab from some other person or some other rapper or personality that you want to collab with. That's what I would say is the best bet for Adidas. Will they do that? I don't know. Only time will tell. I've bought a couple of the Yeezys, even at four prices, because my lady likes them. So, I mean, she likes them. I'm going to grab them for her. If I think they're okay and we can match, like the ones that y'all saw me talk about a couple videos ago, I'll buy them for us both. But that does not mean that I like the price. I would like them at 140 bucks, 150 bucks. That make me feel a whole lot better. So if they do that, I'll even come and buy some. So you hear me, Adidas, put them on sale. I'll come buy way more of them from you guys. But yes, that's what's going on on the confirmed that. So we'll definitely stay tapped in and looking at what's going on with this Yeezy stock, what they're going to do with the rest of these shoes that they plan on releasing this year and how they're going to start rolling them out. But we're going to stay tuned on to that one. All right, so next today, we're going to tap into GOAT running an Air Max Day sale, which has been nuts. And I actually caught on to this late because I've been at work. I really do be working, y'all. Like, I promise, I really do be working. But yeah, so I actually got onto this late. I didn't see this until later today. But GOAT, on the GOAT app, they were running 20 back-to-back -back releases of exclusive Air Max sales throughout the year. I've seen some all the way back into, like, 2006. More recently, up into, like, the Travis Scott releases and that Oregon Ducks feed, which looks lovely. I did not hit on it. I'm actually still in the queue right now for a pair of Travis Scott Air Maxes. Not sure if they just leave me sitting there and gonna tell me I lost at the end of the day. But yes, no, there's still drops going on right now as I make this video and they're coming back to back. So you can go to the GOAT app right now, 
click in there and if you go to the home screen it says like air matches and it's just a timer next to all of the sneakers as they drop and when they drop you're getting them at or under retail which is crazy like this is crazy to me a lot of these sneakers are reselling for like 650 700 a, a grand if i get them i'm not reselling mine i'm gonna put mine in the closet i'm gonna let the value keep going up but i know most people they just trying to get in they trying to go crazy and just resell them i actually seen a dude hit for like five or six pair of those um the Oregon duck peas and I don't know if that was like a fake picture or something but he had a lot of confirmation that from the go app on the Oregon duck pea and I'm just like I don't know how he pulled that off because the app definitely says one per customer so I think he might have been lying but either way though right now if you watch this video tonight go tap in before the day is over go look over on go see what they got running for the Air Max day there's a lot of sneakers going on right now um you know what I'm saying like even to the classics I've seen like some triple blacks on there I've seen the Travis Scott so I'm looking at it right now um, yeah, a lot of sneakers are still getting ready to come out probably within like the next 20 to 30 minutes as well. So I'm gonna let y'all know if I end up hitting on them Travis Scott's or not. But yes, make sure you tap in the GOAT right now. Go celebrate Air Max Day with them because they definitely getting a try on the Air Maxes for the low. When I say low, it's retail and under because you know right now they sell it for like $7.50 and up. So shout out to GOAT for doing that. Y'all the realest. Okay, now it's time to get into the fun stuff. The Nike Spring Sale and some accessories and i think i'm probably gonna start with the accessories first so we can go ahead and get that out of the way but yeah so if you did not know right now nike is running a spring sale they run it on the text they run it on a lot of the shoes a lot of the apparel and this is just in the nike app you don't got to do anything crazy and if you can find a, a couple of these like in the uh, clearance discount section they're allowing you to stack these discounts and that's how i got a lot of these sneakers that i'm about to show y'all right now but starting off for today let me see what we got yes yeah, so boom bang bing so I got this uh, fitted from Soul Play. They were running a sale actually a couple weeks ago. And I got this for 25 bucks. It was 25 flat. There wasn't any taxes on it. It was just 25 shit. Um, I actually had another hat, but they canceled it on me after a couple of days of me ordering it. So I was kind of salty about that. But as you can see, I do have my lid brim fixed right there. So my brim can be good when it's time for me to throw this bad baby on. But you know, so this just looks really good. I grabbed this. I don't really know, like the color scheme is kind of crazy even has it like on the back there but i'll find something to wear with it like i said i mean i have enough shoes it almost matches those um those uh a ones that i got that i did the deep blue so you know right now just getting this this brim fitted and ready for me to be able to put this bad baby on but yes i picked this up for 25 bucks shout out to soul plow give you another look at that shout out the lids for the brim fixer because you know i can't be walking out here with no straight brims but yes that's there so next I'm probably go. I'm gonna work backwards and tell one of my favorite sneakers that I touched today. The next sneaker that I had today is that's the right way. Bean. Yeah. So I got the Air Jordan One. Um, this is the black and uh, yellow ochre. That's what this white tech colorway is technically called, the yellow ochre. Um, and this is not the 85 cut. This is just the regular Air Jordan One low. But I picked these up because these were going for 65 bucks with that Nike um, with that Nike spring sale. And this was just a really good looking shoe to me. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't gonna pay full price for it. And I think that's where the, it started to look a little bit better when I'm like, oh, 64 bucks, that's not bad. I can go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm, like I say, man, it just looks really good. It's just a yellow and black shoe. Um, you know, it'll probably also go with some of my fraternity gear um, and things that I do that. I would, you know, I like to say, say like Pittsburgh colors, but I would never, you know, correlate the two because I'm a Browns fan till I die. But yes, no, this is just really clean. I'm excited to have this. Like, I mean, anytime you get like a low top Air Jordan 1, you can put them on in the summer. You can wear shorts with them, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can put this on whatever. But yeah, this was just a really good pickup for $65 during that spring sale. Saw it, they actually had my size, so I thought, why not? I was really trying to get the bread toe, the black and red one um, in the same colorway, but they only had like smaller foot sizes. So I settled, got these in an eight and a half, got them in my size. But yo, peep this, yo. They gave me like the littlest box I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> for i don't even know like man look at the shoe compared to the box it's like i don't even know how to like describe that but yes i ain't never seen nike give such a little box for um for shoes but yeah so i got the air jordan one low this black and yellow ochre colorway i mean this was one of the actually the last purchase that i made in the nike uh spring sale I actually bought these other two shoes that you're about to see first but let's get into those thank you Ping. Yes, yes, yes. So the first shoe that I got in the Nike Spring Sale was a LeBron 21 Algae. And when I tell y'all, I'm actually super duper excited to finally own a pair of the LeBron 21s. 
Um, bronze be expensive, y'all. I'm not going to cap. Bronze be expensive, but y'all know that that's my GOAT. That's my favorite player. So when this shoe start to go on sale, man, I try to pick them up. I'm always going to try to support. And then I actually grabbed some funky colorways in these. But like upon first look, the first thing that actually amazed me was the box. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But yes, the box was crazy on these. But I don't know, man. Like these algaes are really, really funky. I don't know if y'all can see it, but like the material is like frayed. It actually looks like algae. It feels like very textured. Um, I mean, it definitely has like a crazy colorway going on there. Uh, something that I did like was like the detail that they did. I don't know if y'all can see it, but like the 1984 up under this little back tab there. Um, I like this. I don't even know. Is this called a bottom aglet, y'all? Let me know right now down in the comment. I know that these are called aglets, but it's like, it's just like an aglet holder. I don't know. But I like that each pair had its own um, like gold uh, aglet or glow black hit right there inside of these but yeah no this was some a shoe that i'm actually really excited to have in my collection this will be something that i'll probably also wear in the summertime too it's like that mid to low top i would think that this is like a mid top and it has like that air zoom you can see it written on the back i don't know if the camera's going to pick it up the air zoom written across the back of there but yes the lebron 21 algae i got these for 75 bucks um during the nike spring sale of course i'm um, yeah, happy to bring these home like i said man i love like the cable knit going through here like bronze actually really be hard man i hate the fact that y'all be hating on my brother man like his shoes is really hard and i feel like once you retire that's when y'all gonna try to spin the block and be like oh my god i gotta have a bronze i gotta have a bronze and i'm gonna look at y'all sideways and i'm gonna be ready to tussle because i like to tussle when y'all try to do when y'all try to do the backtracking because some of these really be fire but yes i got the lebron 21 algae um for the nike spring sale for 75 bucks but let's tap into another one that i got that i'm really really excited to talk about <laughs> got him bing 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 yes yeah, so last today we had the lebron 21 in a tahitian colorway and when i tell y'all i was super excited when i opened up the box saw this black and then i saw the material i don't know what i thought this material was when i looked at it online but can y'all hear it I hope y'all can hear that. But yes, these look so good coming out of the box, man. Like this black is like a satin type of velvet material. It's just like super duper dark. Um, and then under the tongue on the back, you also have that EST 1984. So really great detail there. You can see the air zoom is written on there gray on top of that like metallic translucent um, green with the gray cable knits running all the way through it. Um, and then on the bottom here, we have the 21 aglet, which is black and gray. And it's like that have black Nike swoosh on top of that, you know, the top of it is black embossed, but I don't know, man. I really do not get what y'all be saying when y'all say like bronze or ugly bronze ain't it. Y'all tripping. This man's shoes really be fire. It'd be just like all the other colorways of crazy shoes that y'all be thinking. But yes, I'm excited to have these in my collection. Y'all just got a little bit of my personal opinion, how I really be feeling about bronze sneakers. But yes, man, this is a really good shoe. I'm happy to have it. The box um, looks really good here. Let me see if I can, I think I might have shut up, but let me show y'all. Like it like does like a convertible drop top on the box. It doesn't open up like normal. Um, so yeah, I mean, this looks really good, man. Just the detail that they paid um, with this shoe is just really, really good. So I'm excited to have these and I got these for 70 bucks. I think I got those for 75 and these for 70 or vice versa. I'll have to go back and look, but this definitely makes me want to go back and take a look at those Dragon Pearls just to see what that material is talking about. I like the way that the orange was sitting across there. I have faded into like that red. My girlfriend's probably not going to like to hear that, but yes, I am maybe going to go back and look and see what I can do with those Dragon Pearls since they are sitting on a sale right now to get me another pair of LeBron 21s. But yes, man, this shoe looks really good. I'm super duper excited to have it in my collection. Um, you know, this, like I said, these are my first pair of LeBron 21s. And, and just to have these, it definitely makes me want to go back and see what else they did on some of the other crazier ones. But yeah, I mean, like I said, you got the LeBron 21, you have the Tahitian, you have the algae both in crazy colorways i mean i look like i went with a green theme but that wasn't intentional but yeah both of these look good i'm super duper excited to have them in the collection and let's go ahead and check up out of here today all right all right all right before i tap out of here i definitely want to say thank you thank you thank you as i always say thank you to all my subscribers thank you to all the people that are supporting me through twitter youtube facebook instagram the people that i'm meeting on reddit yo i cannot express to you guys enough how much i appreciate you guys on this journey that i'm taking i believe at the time of me recording this i'm at about 1800 subscribers i told you guys a couple videos ago the goal is to get to 2500 2500 subscribers i'll do a giveaway maybe i'll give away a hat maybe i'll give away a pair of shoes that's under 100 bucks i'm not too sure exactly what it is but i definitely want to reward you guys for supporting me 
because as I get bigger, as I monetize the channel, that means I can do maybe some early reviews. I can buy more sneakers to show you guys more reviews and go back into the past. But yes, I definitely have to say I'm really enjoying this journey, man. Not only for, you know, just being behind the camera, but being able to collect art. I mean, I think that's ultimately what it is that we're doing here. I know some people always wonder, like, why do you buy so many shoes if you're not going to wear them all? But, you know, just the story behind all of these, man, the art that it is to them, like the culture that you get submersed in. I mean, of course, like sneaker goes into, you know, like hip hop culture, hip hop culture goes into fashion and it just kind of goes back and forth. But like I said, I'm really enjoying this with you guys. I want to say right now, before you check up out of here, like, comment and subscribe, leave a like on the video, put a comment. What was the favorite shoe that you saw? Was it the Serena Williams? Was it one of the LeBrons? Was it the Air Jordan 1 Low? Or was it the, you know, the Milwaukee hat that you guys saw? Let me know right now down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more deals. Stay tuned for more sneaks. Stay tuned for more pickups. Stay tuned for more accessories. Follow me on all my platforms. M-O-O-Z-T-H-E-A-L-P-H-A. -E Move the Alpha, that is me. I is I, him is him. I am Himothy. Yes, no, but for real. Make sure y'all do that. Stay tuned, and I'm out, peace.